One of my local collectible shops got in a grail that I've wanted for quite some time. So today I'm going to take five of my pops and I'm going to see if I can get enough credit to be able to pick up that pop. Let's go. My name is Benjamin, you're watching Retro Marmot Collectibles. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Like I said, I'm gonna take five of my pops, which I have right here, and I'm gonna go and see if I can trade in for that grail. Please forgive the dog who is currently panting, and I don't know why. We have very good AC. Fozzie, why are you so hot? <laughs> I'm to get the fan on you, man. Fozzie is now getting a drink. So Fozzy. <laughs> Are you being so loud? Is your tail so loud and you're breathing? <laughs> That's okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I have five pops here that I'm going to try and trade in for that grail. So stick around to find out what the grail is, but let's get into these pops. I'll explain why I'm getting rid of them and what I'm thinking about each of them. First pop. Kanatsu Yuri. This is the common. Now you can probably figure out why I'm trading this. It's because if you look behind me, I actually have the uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive, the glow version. And I just don't really feel like I need two of this same pop in my collection. So I'm okay getting rid of the common. It's only, I wanna say this only goes for 14 to $16. So I might not get too much credit for it, but you know what, it'll clear up some space in my, in my place. Plus I'll be able to get a pop that I actually prefer more than this. So there you have it, Kanatsu Yuri. I'm gonna be trading that in today. Now, the second one is a very similar situation to that, also a Demon Slayer. This one is Ren Goku. Uh, I have, let's see, the Funko exclusive, not the Walmart exclusive, but the Funko exclusive Glow Ren Goku right here. So just getting rid of the common. I think this only goes for 14 to $16 as well, just like Kanao. So there you go, me trading that in as well. Now, here is a Blacklight Thor. This one has the international sticker rather than the Target sticker. So, it's probably not as valuable as that Target sticker one. I wanna say this maybe goes for 20 to $24. So I'm gonna be trading this in. I love Thor, probably my favorite Marvel character. I just feel like I'm ready to let this one go and let someone else pick it up for their collection. Still a cool pop, but we'll see what they give me for it. Now, the last two, this one's kind of a unique one. Yuji Itadori with Sukuna Mouth. Uh, this is actually, of all of the Jujutsu Kaisen pops they've made, I think this is actually my favorite one. I think the mold is great. I think on pretty much any anime pop, they kill it with the hair, but Itadori in particular, that mold for his hair is so good. Uh, but I'm getting rid of it because at one point, I think I had, I wanna say seven or eight Jujutsu Kaisen pops. I've just sort of downscaled and this is my very last one. So I'm gonna hold on to this as long as I can. If I need to trade this one in to get credit for the grail, then I will. If not, I'll probably keep this one, but we'll see what happens. I love this pop. I just am not much of a Jujutsu Kaisen collector anymore. So if I have to, I'll get rid of it, but we'll see. So last pop I'm gonna be trading in is this Batman Beyond Funko Shop exclusive. Now you probably know there was a chase variant with this. It's a really cool chase, actually. I obviously didn't get it. We have the common here. I'm really not a DC collector though. Uh, I think this is literally my only DC pop that I have in my whole collection. So I'm gonna be trading this one in for sure. The price on this one right now, it says it goes for like $30. I don't think that's accurate though. If I could get, I don't even know, 50% of that or even 60% of that, I'd be happy. I don't think this is a $30 pop though, but there you have it. So that's all five of the pops I'm gonna be trading in today. Like I said, I'm gonna be going out on a hunt and then we're gonna stop by that store and stick around to find out what that grail is. I am really excited for it. So here we go, let's go on the hunt. All right, here is the first stop on our magical mystery Funko Pop tour, uh, the Great Tarjay. Uh, here's their section, made it back there. It was pretty messy, but the, man, this thing is packed in with a lot of stuff. So there's a lot to go over here. Uh, found this Mech Strike Black Panther Target exclusive. Never seen this in person before. I don't love this line of pops, but I figured I'd show it because I don't. I've never really seen it before. Um, Mr. T WrestleMania. That is so funny. And that thing was cracked. It looked like it fell down. They had a few of them though. So if you wanted that, there was another one that was in good shape. Um, Hawkeye comic cover. Cool. 
some you know five nights at freddy's there uh this turtle slash figure is just really cool i would love to see them on a shelf so i figured i'd show that off not funko related but still liked it and yeah there you go another comic cover from marvel um let's see ted lasso here that's a target exclusive haven't seen the show but a lot of people have told me it's hilarious I'll have to eventually check it out. I just don't have Apple. I don't even know what it's called, their streaming service. I don't have it though, so maybe one day. Uh, Blue Beetle, Target exclusive Glow in the Dark. I actually saw this movie this week and I, I really liked it. I thought it was good. It was better than most Marvel Phase 4 things, so that's good for DC to be able to put something like that together. Um, Makamo, I've seen this in a couple different places. I will eventually pick this up. I passed on it today, not sure why. Uh, of course, I love Demon Slayer and I try to get all the pops, so eventually I'll get that. Then this Sabato, this is probably the coolest find of this whole store. This is the only one they had. So everyone, you know, people had already picked up the other ones. I've already found this pop, so I didn't take it today. Uh, but I just love to see it because it's such a great pop. And here's some, uh, I think these are pop deluxe sets. Not sure why I showed that from so far away. It wasn't really a great shot. Sorry about that. But uh, here you go. Here's a Peter Pan. I've been finding a lot of pops from this set. Haven't seen him yet, though. So I thought that was kind of cool they had this. Then this is probably the second best find. I mean, depending on who you ask from this store, this hatching raptor is so cool. And I love the box art. I know a lot of people have been really excited about this and I can see why it's so cool. Uh, they had a second one back there. And what's funny is that both of them were in really good shape. So uh, yeah, that's just really good find there. Another uh, Five Nights at Freddy's for with a balloon foxy and uh, a Boruto pop. I think this one had snakes for hands. I have not seen the show, but there you go. If you like Boruto, there's that pop uh then i love this that that classic wolverine cover is just so cool so gotta show that pop off one of my favorite characters uh mickey mouse this is just a classic mickey mouse i feel like most of the mickey mouse pops are like they have like gimmicks of one kind or another but this is just straight up mickey mouse and straight up daisy duck um they were kind of hidden back there and i feel like a lot of people would like those but you know they were the only two left so i guess people picked up the other ones already there's a uh, nebula soda looked like it had been meddled with i honestly thought it had been opened but after looking at it for a second i realized it hadn't uh yeah there's a shredder comic book accurate that thing is awesome and then check this out some hoodlums from my neighborhood from my area went into target and opened up some mystery packs i cannot believe it we need to get the police in on this because this is just not okay uh but here you go another boruto pop again don't know anything about that but looks like that one is actually boruto and uh, second target, here we go. Let's check out their selection. Um, this one's a lot more extensive, a lot of, uh, I feel like a lot more pops and maybe just a little bit more organized. But um, now this is interesting. They had three of these and I really want one, but I'm not sure I wanna pay full price. So it's looking good for me right now. They've got three, one, at least one of them has been sitting on the shelf for weeks. So hoping it'll go on sale eventually. And when it does, I will pick it up. So stay tuned for that eventually. Um, some sodas another nebula one new kids on the block uh willow f good my sister loves that movie so maybe i'll pick that up for one day uh mantis soda as well as uh, an avatar back there uh Geralt from the witcher as well as jennifer and here you go wwe for all you fans out there sorry i didn't show the name on that i don't know who that person is but i've never seen that pop before so i figured i'd show it and here you have bitty pops I don't think I'll ever collect these. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe one day I'll try it out, but just not really my thing. But I wanted to show those. Moon Girl Pop with that devil dinosaur, kind of cool, a unique one. Um, some Deluxe Pops, another Blue Beetle there. And then I thought this was interesting. WWE two pack with Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker. Pretty cool. I feel like someone out there who's a WWE fan probably really appreciate that, so cool. And uh, here is a uh, Soccer Pop. Don't know anything about soccer, so sorry about that, guys. But for you who are fans, there you go. Now, here's the mall that I'm going to be picking up the uh, the pop I'm really excited about. But first, we're going to go to some other stores, starting with Hot Topic. Now, this one didn't have anything that got me too excited, except one pop that I'm really kicking myself that I did not pick up. And that is Nezuko Snarling. Oh, my goodness. So cool, that Hot Topic exclusive. I genuinely don't know why I didn't pick it up. I'm so mad at myself now. I will immediately grab it the next time I see it. If I ever see it, I'm praying I do. Um, some some of those new Blacklight Hello Kitties, kind of cool. And here you go. Here's the store. I'm going to be picking up the, uh, the pop I'm really excited about. But first off, here's their Marvel section. There's actually some cool stuff here. I feel like a lot of this inventory has kind of been sitting for a minute, which is fine. You know, that's totally okay. Waiting for the right person to come along. 
But here's some other new stuff. Um, this Captain Marvel Collector Core. I just think this is really cool. I, I thought this was a glow in the dark pop. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I thought it was awesome. And then the werewolf from Werewolf by Night. Now this Deadpool pop is so cool. I, I'm not a huge Deadpool fan. But I love this pop. Maybe one day I'll pick it up just because I think it's awesome. Uh, 80, 80th anniversary Spider-Man. Really cool. Then this thing, just so great. That Iron Man Stan Lee. I love that they had that. Uh, yeah, Ted from uh, Werewolf by Night. That's a much bigger pop than I realized, so really cool. If you look closely, you probably see something right there that's uh, that kind of gets me excited, if you know what I like to collect. But uh, here we go. Here's the anime section with a lot of uh, different things, uh, a lot of different shows being represented here. Um, you can see Demon Slayer kind of peppered throughout, as well as My Hero. Uh, which I'm going to pick up right now. Uh, I haven't watched a ton of My Hero, but the stuff I've seen, I think I think Todoroki is so cool. So this Chalice Collectibles is just great. All the pops they've made of Todoroki I've actually really liked. Um, there's another uh, Tanjiro there. Uh, I love the glow on that. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a Ponda there, and I literally didn't even notice it until I was editing this video. I'm really sad about that because it was the flocked one. Um, here's another My Hero. Don't know this character. Haven't watched far enough to be able to know who they are, but I think it's really cool. And now here we have, I think this is sort of the Disney slash like animation kind of just continued section. Um, I'm typically not a huge Disney guy, but I did find some stuff here I thought, thought was cool. Like this, uh, this Louie from Tailspin, really great pop, just an awesome mold. Looks really kind of nostalgic, honestly. Um, then this Encanto pop with Maribel. I'm sorry, I haven't actually seen the movie. I need to watch that. But that glow in the dark. Yeah, I know a lot of people were excited about this one. Um, then I thought this was really interesting, that Mat Matterhorn bobsled. Never seen that in person before. Awesome. And then the VHS uh, Amazon exclusive Hercules. Really cool. All the the uh, Star Wars pops here. They got a huge wall of them. Uh, I'm not going to go through and show everything, but I did want to highlight the, uh, the Boba Fett because he's personally my favorite character. I think he's great. And yeah, here's some other stuff. I loved this... Uh, this well there's first off there's motu and then you can see some D, D right there with that gelatinous cube but i actually loved this shadow i thought shadow is so cool i played sonic when i was a kid so that was a really just great find um then this next one is absolutely for my friend jared who is just obsessed with this game sekiro great pop and i honestly think it's been sitting on their shelf for a while i i someone needs to pick that up then there's this uh sonic pop and uh you know i love the sonic molds and that pretty much does it for this hunt so let's head back and i'll show you what i picked up all right i am back from the hunt and i'm really excited for how it went i picked up something like i said that i've been really excited for for a while but let me get to that in a second so when i went to the store they actually only took three of my pops and the reason for that is they just weren't interested in the other two. Uh, the Blacklight Thor and the Batman pop, Pops are the ones that they didn't want. Which makes sense. They said they got a lot of Blacklight Marvel that's sitting on their shelves right now and just not really selling. And I get that. So, uh, and then I guess they just weren't interested in the Batman one, which is totally fine. Because with the other three, uh, all three of those anime pops, which we all know sell really well, um... Plus some credit that I had beforehand, just from other trade-ins I've already done in the past. I was able, able to cover the cost of this pop that I was really wanting. And this is a personal grail. I think someone even commented on a previous video asking where it is. So to that person, I have the pop now. I hope you're watching again. Here you go. It is the Tanjiro and Urukudaki 2-pack from the most recent San Diego Comic-Con. This is the shared sticker, so it's not the Comic-Con sticker one. Uh, but it is just such a cool pop. I am I know we have a lot of variations of Tanjiro. I think some people were a little bothered by that. Uh, I'm personally not because I love the training Tanjiro, plus him doing water breathing. I think those pops just look so great. We have two of them now. Uh, so I, Tanjiro looks great to me. And then here we have Urukudaki, totally new. We've never seen this in pop form before. And I've been wondering when we were gonna get it. And when they finally announced it, I knew that I had to pick it up. So the, I just think the molds on these look so great. Urukudaki's mask, they did not shorten his nose whatsoever for it, uh, which is the way they had to go. His hair looks great. He's also taken that posture where he's very strict and 
and looks like he's, uh, you know, obviously in a training stance for Tanjiro. Um, plus, Tanjiro, just the attention to detail, the mark in his forehead, the mask he has, uh, everything, the blue sword he's using, it's just so great. So I was so happy I had enough credit to cover this, pick this up as one I've wanted for a minute. I also saw some other really cool Demon Slayer stuff, didn't pick that up. The one in particular that I thought was so cool was that uh, Hot Topic Nezuko, where she's snarling. Just a great pop, and I was really impressed. I got to see close up how they uh, molded the mouth, and it looks really good. They gave it some depth, and it just looks great. So, um, saw some really cool stuff today. I was really pleased with the hunt, and now I'm happy that I get to add this into my Demon Slayer collection. This two-pack has been on my, my list, so there you go. I picked it up, and I'm happy about it. That does it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what things you saw that you thought were cool. And uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. I promise more videos are on the way, so I'd love to have you join me. My name is Benjamin, and this is Retro Marmot Collectibles. Thanks.